When you're a kid, one of the scariest slash coolest things to get are stitches. Those little strings of thread holding your wound together just seem to fascinate your friends. They also pull in sympathy from teachers and candy-toting parents. And for a bonus, you can end up with a cool scar that can be a conversation starter for years to come. Well, now stitches could be getting some competition. The needle and thread could be replaced with a zip when your skin has a little rip. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. This picture tells a story. At the top, an area of skin after a surgical procedure, fixed up with old school stitches. At the bottom, a similar incision that's been closed with a radical invention that doesn't puncture the skin. When the skin is cut, all we need to do is get the two sides of the laceration together. Then the tissue starts growing from inside out. Doctors typically use stitches or staples to pull skin edges together, which works fine, except they can leave a noticeable scar. Zip stitch is actually a device that is used by the patient themselves for a very good cosmetic outcome. I zipped up to Campbell, California to meet Israeli pediatrician and inventor Amir Belson to learn more about his laceration innovation, Zip Stitch. So Amir, what is Zip Stitch? So Zip Stitch is actually a skin closure device that is very gentle on the skin. You can uh, modify the amount you close, and then after seven to 10 days, you just remove it. The wound is healed perfectly. The best scar you can get, no pain. How do we see that? So Zip Stitch is made out of two liners of adhesive and some proprietary plastic molds and the straps that actually pull those structure here, which helps to distribute the force of closure. I'm curious about how does Zip Stitch compare, though, to you know, sutures, to the good old-fashioned needle and thread? Oh, yeah, so th this, is, this is a needle, as you okay. see. So you have to penetrate the skin in, all the, in order to hold it. I know I will not do it on your own, but and then you tie it, yes. and that causes a scar. Or if you don't like this, maybe you like the oh, staples. Oh, okay. and, that doesn't feel much better. And versus, you can just take the uh, zip stitch, you can remove the backing, okay. you put it on the incision, remove the paper, and then you tighten the two sides of the wound. And then, if you're happy, you just cut the straps. The first iteration of the system was larger and only designed for use in major operations like knee replacements. It wasn't until a wildlife medical expert suggested a smaller version for outdoor adventurers that Zip Stitch was born. There's an adhesive that you use in order to make sure that a Zip Stitch stays on. Uh, what went into the creations, into the discovery, basically, of oh, like, uh, what the right solution was? A lot was? of trials and errors, and it took us a lot of time to nail down the composition of the adhesive that is very strong, mm -hmm. but at the same time very friendly with the skin, doesn't create too much irritation. Have you run into any experiences where somebody's using a zip stitch in a way that you didn't even think about? Oh yeah, so we were approached by a group that helps turtles that I ran over by cars and the car broke the shell of the turtle. And it, the turtle will die if it's not healed. Hold on, so you're saying that the turtle shells are being held together by zip stitches until the turtles just naturally can heal themselves? They can bring the shell back? 100%. I think the human skin is a little softer than turtle. Most humans. Yeah. <laughs>